Welcome to week seven. I'm Professor Greg Long, and our topic today is a continuation from last week. We're talking about education and disability. Last week, we talked about the issues that are most relevant, early intervention through high school. Today's lesson is really going to focus um, exclusively on post-secondary. So basically anything that comes after high school, it could be vocational training programs, but we oftentimes and more commonly think about it as colleges and universities. Before we get started today, though, we'll have our etiquette question. And this is one that's of particular significance within the, the college setting. And the etiquette question is this. As a staff or a faculty member, you know, in your, in your role as a, as a teacher, is it all right to ask a student to disclose the nature of his or her disability? Now, as you think about that, um, I've got a video that I'm going to show you. One of the interesting things about today's lecture material and segments and video support is that many of these things have arisen from work that was done at the University, Northern Illinois University, last summer and this past fall in the creation of a disability and accessibility tutorial for faculty and staff. One of the issues in creating that was that we got a lot of student input. We got students with disabilities and their allies. We had um, others involved to, to give us input. So we created a tutorial, but also recognizing that a lot of people would not find reading a 20 plus page tutorial very exciting. We paired with students um, in the <clears throat> Department of Communications under the direction of Dr. Laura Vasquez. And we created a series of videos that will also um, meant to support different aspects of the tutorial. So those videos, as well as the tutorial itself, are linked to this lesson and will be referenced. I, I hope you enjoy them. And with that, we'll look at the first video called Nobody's Business that hits that disability etiquette question we just asked. Can you ask students to disclose? Not something I'm a huge fan of, personally, having one myself. Uh, if I could, you know, somehow snap my fingers and not have one, I would do it in a heartbeat just to try to fit in because there's so much stigma to disability now. Because you can't exactly go up and just completely out yourself and say, well, I have this, 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 and this, so you need to accommodate me. I mean, you don't really have any proof. You don't really have any backup. So you have to put a lot of faith into the teacher. And when they don't respond well to that, it's just very frustrating. Oh, all right, Alex. Thank you. I wonder if you could stop by my office later so we could talk about this? Sure, yeah. Great. Sounds good. Thanks. So you need to go to the Disability Resource Center for every test and quiz. Do you mind telling me what your disability is? You know, if you're if you're unwilling to tell me what your disability is, I don't know that I can accommodate you. Tell you what, let's, let's just give it a couple weeks and, and see how things go. And I'll check back with you then, okay? It can be very frustrating because you know that there's a chance that they're not going to believe you, that they're going to give you a hard time for it because they can't physically see what's wrong and they don't know what's wrong. Because like with a physical disability, you can look and see, oh, well, this person's going to need this much help because they look like they have this. The invisible disabilities, hence invisible, they don't know. There are some teachers that I wouldn't tell or wouldn't feel comfortable telling. It's just you know that you're going to be treated differently. They're going to think of you differently. They're almost going to pity you, in a sense, and that's just, nobody wants pity. All right, pop quiz. Are you serious? What should I do with this? Well, what do you mean? Can I go to the DRC? No, you stay here and take the quiz like everybody else. I can't do this here. Well, you know what, maybe after class if you want to come up and we'll talk about your disability then. Just, just do the best you can.
Uh, time's up. I'm going to bring your tests up and have a good weekend. Professor. How can I help you, Alex? I can't do my quizzes here. I have to take all my quizzes and tests in the DRC. My accommodation letter should have told you that. Well, if you are needing to take your test there, I need to know why. You haven't told me why. Why do you need to go there? You said that in front of my classmates. That's embarrassing. Well, I'm sorry you feel so bad, and, and I really wasn't trying to upset you. What you're doing is against the law. They should just be able to look at the accommodations, understand that there's something that maybe they don't know, maybe they're not going to find out, but they need to help. And it's none of their business. If I want to tell somebody, I will tell them. I'll make sure that they know. But if I don't want to tell them, then they shouldn't have, they shouldn't try to push me to find out. I think talk to the teacher first, talk to your teachers and try to figure out even if like they would be willing to help you without accommodations. That's actually what I did last semester. I didn't have any accommodations till this semester. I was almost too scared to go and try to get them. I stayed in contact with my teachers. I explained that there were some things going on and I needed some extra help. And all of them, I think, except for one, were more than willing to try to help. Um, as for the one, I, you know, I found ways to work around it. But if they're having trouble, you know, keep in contact with your teachers. Um, I guess get in touch with another doctor that'll be able to help, a psychiatrist, a physician, anything like that, so that you can get some almost medical backup to bring with you to the DRC to say, hey, I do need help with this, and just keep trying. You know, they can only deny you for so long if you really need the help. So in summary for this first segment, and, and hopefully as you most clearly saw in that video, while a teacher, professor may have a desire to know and, and may be well-intentioned in trying to know about a student's disability, it really is the student's right to determine whether she or he wants to share the specifics. And that's something that is incredibly important for us to remember. So as we <clears throat> end this particular segment, would like to move on to a, a, the next segment where we really talk about, you know, what are some of the benefits um, and laws and how often do we see people with disabilities in college settings?